All right, guys, I'm just gonna do a quick video on this. It's just called a Maytag commercial technology washing machine. Uh, this machine is only two, maybe three years old. Uh, I don't know exactly what model it is or anything, but basically if, you're, if your machine looks like this, this is the one you wanna see, and I'm gonna show how to replace the water inlet valve. Um, this one was leaking, so um, what you would have to do first is you want to be able, first you want to unplug it of course, but you have to get this off like this to access it. And to do that, basically what you got to do is get up in here and you access behind this and there's pins and you have to, you have to squeeze the pins and once you squeeze them, it'll let it up. So I've already done this one. Basically, these are the pins. So from underneath on the inside of the machine, when you move the basket, you got one on each side, and you have to squeeze it, and it'll let it lift out of these holes. So once it does that, it just sets it free. So you don't have to mess with these pieces or this piece that kind of holds it in place. So basically you squeeze those from inside the machine, and there's one on each side. So once you squeeze those, it releases it. Now, once you've got access, then you've got your hoses, your inlet hoses. So this is the part that was leaking on mine, and it's leaking from underneath, and it's close to this wire that's down here. So obviously, you wanna shut your water off. I've already done that, I've already loosened these. So you wanna take your water lines off. Obviously, you would need like some channel locks or pliers to loosen them, but I've already loosened them. Now, you have these wires that control the hot and the cold. You're going to have to take these off. You might want to take a picture of them or write your color codes down to know how to put them back on. They're a little tight. Obviously, I've already pre-loosened them. You should be able to loosen them off and pull them off by hand. Once you have that done, then you can reach the bolts or the screws, whatever you want to call them. And on this, I needed a quarter inch socket. So you got two screws or bolts, whatever you want to call them. I guess they're basically screws. You get those off. All your wires here are disconnected. You still have one more wire under the front and it should lift out so the water comes in here and I guess all the wires decide how to distribute it if you're using hot or cold or both and then this wire here you can see where it's got some corrosion on it from where the water's been leaking so you've got these gaskets here you can see where this gasket stayed in on here so I think that this one is the one that's the culprit it's the leaker and it's got rust on it so it's been leaking for at least a few weeks now okay so now that we have that off you can see where from underneath there's this other wiring harness and to get it out you need a, a flathead screwdriver and you want to pry up there's a little black prong right there whenever you pry up on it this wire should lift out of it might be a little tight at first but it should give so there's our old one here's the new one just got on land online at Amazon uh, pretty cheap. It's like 31 dollars and some change. Uh, it's a lot cheaper than buying it anywhere else. Okay, so we've got the new one here. We're gonna put on. I had to clean this up a bit. It had some rusty water on it from where it was rusting that wire. Uh, the way that I knew that it was leaking here was I checked my hoses and the hoses didn't leak. The outlet hose didn't leak. I had taken the back off. I saw nothing else leaking, but it would drip from under here and go under down and come out the side of the washing machine over here so once i ran a load and i got behind it i would watch and it was leaking from this area and that's where that gasket has stayed in there before so that's how i knew that this was the problem so once you got your new one here you want to go ahead and hook this wire in first because once you have it bolted down you're not going to have access to it anymore so then, basically we just set that on there. Just 
kind of start the screw by hand just to hold it in place. I guess the thing that's handy about these wires is that they kind of have them spread out already to where they need to be. So it would be kind of hard to mess them up and put them in the wrong place. But just in case, I took a picture of it beforehand just so I didn't get any wires crossed. Try to screech side down a little bit at a time so it doesn't get lopsided and try to strip the threads all right so the front wires hooked up we're bolted down hook them back in order like that and it's pretty much back together now all that's really left to do is just put the lid back on basically you'll press it down hard enough that these these pins lock back into place then you'll hook your water lines back up plug the machine back in you should be ready to go thanks for watching god bless